On tonight's program, ladies and gentlemen, we have something that's going to make you sick. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jack Edwards and today is my 21st birthday. And what is a 21st birthday without a cake? It, it, it doesn't exist, that, that, that's what it is. However, I am an incompetent monkey. And so I have recruited some absolute star bakers, if you will. So allow me to introduce, she puts the real in reality TV. <laughs> it's made in Chelsea's Eliza Batten. <laughs> I was like, where's the audience? They're clapping at me. And secondly, he puts the king in baking. It's Bake Off's Henry Bird. That's really not bad. So today, we are going to be making a lemon drizzle cake. Do you want to explain why you chose a lemon drizzle cake? Well, so I always think it's offensive to Henry why you chose a lemon drizzle cake. I chose cake. the easiest thing I could find. You may severely <laughs> overestimate my ability to make this. The first thing I thought of was, oh, I'll just get a brownie like packet mix. And then I thought that's actually offensive. Yeah, a Betty <laughs> Crocker. No, 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 no. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it from scratch. I don't actually know the recipe for this off the top of my head, although I probably should. Oh God, Henry, don't get out of Google. So, Whatever you do, do not get someone out of Google. Don't ruin the someone illusion for me. Well, it's not real. I just thought you had recipes like printed on the inside of your eyelids. How many times before you do a Bake Off bake, Yeah. Mm -hmm. do you actually practice it? So. You get sort of, obviously the technicals, you only get on the day, like five mm. seconds before, that's as it is on TV. And they actually are as vague as they And are. they are as horrible and vague <laughs> as they seem. With the other two challenges, you've got like, sort of a few weeks to prepare the briefs, send them in, make sure they're not going to kill anyone. The thing I did last week, which had lots of raw meat in it, I could have easily have poisoned many oh people gosh. with that. Because it was cooked meat, raw meat, it was awful. All the bakers get a bit. All the crew literally have forks in their pockets. Ready no to, way! Ready to go, which is really lovely. Oh my god, that is the dream. We ate so much food. <laughs> it was so wonderful. Also, you know they do the lovely, beautiful diagrams, like the pi the pictures. Oh, those incredible drawings, like. yeah. Does that happen before you bake? Or after you've been. No, that, yeah, yeah. so that happens as the series goes on. Right. There's one incredible man called Tom Hovey, he's called. Right. And he draws these amazing things as each episode airs, sort of thing. Would he be willing to draw a lemon drizzle cake? He probably thinks he makes them look so much better than they actually are. So that's so no matter how bad this turns out, he would make it look like gorgeous. In that case, yeah. let's get going. Does anyone know what to do? First? Right. I'm going to guess it's four eggs. Fake. Four eggs. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say. That's, that's actually right. 225 for flour, 225 for flour. That's exactly right. And That's 225 for butter? Stop! I kid you not, that was off the top of the dome, and that has given me so much joy that I knew that. Do. I'm genuinely amazed. You literally sound like Siri. And I did not, <laughs> I did not look at that beforehand, like genuinely. Okay, so, okay do you want to do the paper, Eliza? You've got a knife, you need to get a knife. Run! Oh, Henry, would you put some toast on for me while yes. you're there? <laughs> I'm gonna have breakfast. Henry, don't worry, I'll do the toast. You okay. Oh, you put it in? Yes, thank you. Sorry, I was wondering if you could find bread. Where did you find the bread? <laughs> Do you have bread? He's did you go? He's just baked a loaf. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't worry, don't worry. He's like, don't worry, God. <laughs> don't quickly bake one. Did you actually find bread? I fit it maybe with someone else's bread, but. No, that's so fine. It's I bread think. nonetheless. Oh. That's student living. Yeah. Is that it? Beat together 225 grams of softened, unsalted butter. One of those words applies to this butter, but softened does not. <laughs> but I'm just really hard. Oh this is really oh. stressful. What's more intense? Baking in the bake of tent or baking with someone stupid as me? This, I'm genuinely stressed, I kid you not. I'll go do the oven. If you come across an electric whisk on your travels, could you procure it? I can't say that's happened to me before, but I will try. Uh, have a sift through. <gasps> Good pun. Have a sift through the drawers by the sink. Please, can you help me? Do you like cut a slit down each corner? Then it fits more snugly. Mm -hmm. That is the smallest whisk I've ever seen. Yeah, I bought this from Tesco's. <laughs> uh, it's not even washed properly. Oh gosh, this is whiskey business. Do you buy your own ingredients for being in the town? Not tent? a chance. Oh, no, we do. This is amazing. You get like a cent <laughs> money to buy them with. I did bits to white shows, honestly. If you run out of ingredients during filming, does so is there someone just on call? Dead run to the tent is stuff? just full of everything, like an obscene amount of stuff. Yeah, in the morning, I remember David had asked for silver leaf, but he'd only been able to get gold leaf. Right. And so literally called somebody, and within 10 minutes, a lorry turned up with one little thing of silver leaf. It was insane. Oh my gosh, that's so showbiz. The week before last, when we had to use like 70 eggs each, yeah. that chicken was working overtime. <laughs> 
Should I zest these into something? Or just... Oh, oh, just... Jesus, we really didn't oh, do well on. with Brittany. Zest it into my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that smells we... very contrastly to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that is great, great, quite a concoction. I'm not quite sure the point of this being this big is, because if you go from here, it's really hard to, to do it. Um, Did that spoon come with the house, or, or like, is this, uh, was this or did the house come with the spoon? It's big enough. <laughs> There's actually nothing I could be doing right now, is there? Um, no. <laughs> no, definitely there isn't. Yeah, cool. So what are you doing for your birthday? Ah, what am I doing for my birthday? Well, Tonight. getting trolley. <laughs> my parents are coming to visit, which is nice. Mm. That's, that'll be sweet. Is that enough lemon? How many lemons is that? One. Oh no, more. If we save... Two for the juice, because then we can put some juice in for the drizzle bit, mm. and then put the zest in. Then we are sorted. Henry, I don't know what language you're speaking, but <laughs> have you ever baked a potential loved one a cake? Have you ever wooed well, someone with a cake? Asking the real questions. Initial wooing has never been done with a cake, but like, oh yeah, once, that would be a bit weird. Actually. Yeah, it's quite, that'd be quite you can't just turn up to a club with a cake. If you give somebody a nice cake, it's a loving thing to do. Lemon <laughs> drizzle is definitely the sexiest. It's definitely up there. Have you had any really weird direct messages? I reckon this will be like quite sweet though. Oh yeah, I'll I be bet. like, I want you to flower my bum. Whereas I just get like, pull down your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sent quite yeah. a few dicks. dicks. Oh really? A lot of dicks. Oh, no a rude dick pic. But do they have at least icing on them? Oh, I don't want icing on it! Oh my god! There's some interesting videos of their dick as well. It's like, it was bad enough static. I do not want it in motion. As you know, all people really have been really sweet and really, really lovely. Mm. Yeah. That was really, can we not let that pass? That was the most innovative thing I've ever seen. I couldn't be bothered to get up and get a spoon. Using scissors as a spoon. <laughs> It, oh, I can't even use a spoon as a spoon. <laughs> That's a good amount of zest. It's like is a healthy it? amount of zest now. I might put that on my CV. My mom might. Excellent. So, cream together, softened butter, and the sugar until so it's a bit paler. Because mm -hmm. the paler it is, the lighter it is, and the lighter the cake is. Okay. Then beat in Write this down. the eggs one by one. So if you beat them in all at once, it'll go, it'll split, it'll go horrible. And then you add the flour and the lemon zest, and you mix it until it's all. Well combined, I sound like BBC Good Food. I've read so much BBC Good Food. And the rest of the flour. Beat it like Michael Jackson. There's no lumps of flour. That. <laughs> no, Shrewd. Do that. Controversial. Right. Did you find it weird watching yourself on television? The first episode was weird. And you, it was a weird for you when you first watched yourself. Being on, on the telly. Yeah, it was quite weird. And I could tell that I was super nervous in the first, in my first oh, really? entrance. Yeah, when we were filming it, it, we were so preoccupied with what we were doing as well. Yeah, exactly. There wasn't too much time to get nervous about it. So we. You are just yourself after a while because you just forget the cameras um, are there. How are you doing that so much better than I did? I'll catch. So guys, everyone wash their hands before this. <laughs> Literally. Also, I have the longest nails and then the most like, I'm I was going to say, baking and cooking with nails was you like, you couldn't knead dough with long nails. No, and I, I wonder oh, about this all the time. <laughs> so yeah, at this stage you want to overbeat it now because I think it will result in a really like tight from a tight texture. No, we want light and fluffy. We do. So if we put it in the tin now. This could potentially be the best lemon drizzle I've ever had. If this works. What would you, if you were making this at home and you didn't have Jack Edwards behind the recipe, yes. like, <laughs> and you had your own freedom over the ingredients, yeah. would you add anything? How would you jazz it up? So there's a book called The Flavour Thesaurus, which I use a lot. Okay. And it's literally the most wonderful bible of flavours and everything they go with. It's like lemon and basil is a lovely combination. If we were doing this like in the tent, then we could put some basil leaves in the sugar syrup oh. and we drizzle it over, and that could be quite nice. Uh, lemon and mint obviously is lovely. Obviously. And Chocolate. Lime. And then lime. 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 Lemon lime. A lime drizzle would be lovely. What that, do that should be enough then. Paul Hollywood's hands feel like? Are they nicely moisturised? Does he have a firm they're, grip? They are. Is it like, you know some people do like an intimidatingly hard grip? They are weathered because of all his years he's spent kneading, but right. he's also moisturised them recently. So oh. like, it's a, treat. It's, a, it's a nice feel. They are. He's got a lovely handshake. We don't want to overfill it because it'll like puff. Oh. oh. So there'll be a decent amount of leftovers. But yeah. do you not find it a bit strange that you're e eating raw egg? Oh, but I do a really weird thing. You do a raw egg every morning, don't you? Not every morning, but like once a week I'll down a raw egg. It's meant to be good for you. Oh, don't you ever think in your head that one in every 15,000 or something has salmonella? I like the risk. <laughs> <laughs> and that is all for leftovers. Would you like it? Well, I'll just have a little... Did you mean to put in the cake or for me to eat? No, for you to eat. <laughs> one trick. If you take the tin jack mm -hmm. and you bang it on the surface a few times... Right. Do you want to wear it? Just, no, don't drop it. It's like, gently. That knocks out all the air bubbles in it. Because if you were to cook that pre-banging, all those bubbles would blow up so and you get an uneven texture. Uh -huh. 
I should point out, I don't know much about cake, but I do know a few things. You think literally that? <laughs> I don't know much, but I know I like to eat it. I was thinking what my expertise would be, like if we were to do a YouTube video with mine. I don't have um, anything. I've got nothing. I, I feel, you I made me feel so... I reckon you can cook a lot better than... Oh yeah, else. that's true. What can you cook? Yeah. I'll do a mean carbonara. You didn't seem impressed with that. No, I mean... Oh wow. <laughs> wow. Cool. Well, this is the thing. I'm so much better at mass cooking mm. than just cooking for one person. So when yeah. I'm cooking for just me, I'm literally like pasta, pesto, done. But when something I have a dinner party, I'm like, let's do red Thai handmade burgers. I'll do like a Sri Lankan theme, kind of dal and curry. And is everyone it, is, has to use their hands. more people as well. Okay, so we are going to go and put this in the oven. We're also going to film another video in the meantime, which will be up on Halloween. It's so, if you're enjoying this one, then then you might as well subscribe. So we are going to go and put this little baby in the oven and bake it for how long? So, small cake, so let's say 15-20 minutes at 180 degrees. He's just a fountain of wisdom. And so, we will see you on the flip side. There she goes. Right. Is that the right setting for like oven, normal oven? Fuck those. This feels like, um, you know, in the Bake Off where it gets this really intense at the end. the same level of stress. <laughs> so, some time has passed, but we're back and better than ever. So, poke a few holes in it, because it has to have somewhere to go, the drizzle. Oh. And also, it helps because the cake's still warm. The drizzle will go in even nicer. Oh. So, this is just lemon juice. Oh. It's lemon juice and sugar, basically. Wow. Just lemon juice and sugar. Okay. That looks stunning. And then you would normally leave that for a bit. But we can eat it now. On actual Bake Off, you know every time they try, like, when they're technical, like when they try things? Oh yeah. Do they get a fresh set of cutlery every time? The amount of Cut utensils and ceramic in that tent is insane. <laughs> it's a slice. Look at that! And it's still steaming. That's actually gone quite well. Really? really? Yeah. The yeah. texture's nice, it's nice and light, it's still warm, it is moist. Oh my god. Yeah, it's good. It's genuinely not bad. It is Thank you, darling. Cheers. Good job. Yeah, well played everyone, well played. Well played. If you watched to this point in the video, thank you very much. Go comment Tis Moist down below. You can follow us all on social media, I will leave all of our links down below in the crotch box. For now, I've been Jack Edwards, this has been Henry Bird, this has been Eliza Batten, and we have just baked a lemon drizzle cake. And also, can we just say a quick happy birthday? Ah, oh, you Jack. guys. Show him a lot of love. Thanks, He's guys. 21, it's a big one. It's the last week until you're 30, so make We should just put a candle on it. Oh, oh guys! It's always next time. <laughs> we'll have to come back. So, thank you very, very much for watching. Give it a like if you liked it. If you like and subscribe for more from me, I will see you next time. Bye bye! In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.